Police officers wearing taser gloves, President Obama might be in league with robot overlords, and letting your baby name themselves from inside the womb? It's Tech Life, your digital lifestyle in five minutes or less. Hey everybody, welcome to Tech Life, your digital lifestyle in five minutes or less. I'm your host, Ashley Skeva, and joining me as always, the delightful Barb Dibwad. Hi Barb, what is going on? It has been a crazy week, hasn't it? As usual. There's a very lucky fellow in the San Francisco Bay Area who's been reunited with his stolen MacBook thanks to some help from a little bit of software and folks on the internet. Yeah, this is crazy. So this guy's MacBook was stolen about two months ago. And he actually had this software called Hidden, which costs $15 a year and you can install it on your MacBook and it's completely stealth. Right, so he started taking these photographs. The <laughs> police told him they basically didn't have time to help him track it down, even with the evidence that he was providing. So he started a Tumblr account and started posting the photos of the thief on the internet. And people are tweeting it, people are talking about it, and good morning America, because it went viral, called the Oakland Police Department for a statement, and they said, oh, no, no, we're gonna get that laptop back. Thanks to a little bit of technology, this guy has been reunited with his MacBook. Reunited and it feels so good. Police officers in Los Angeles may soon be equipped with the body glove, a high-powered, superhuman-like, high-tech armored glove with a taser in it. Our LAPD are going to be superhero cops. Yeah, Batman has nothing on this glove. So not only does it have the ability to deliver a stun shock to an assailant, it's also armored to the elbow to prevent any kinds of slash wounds to the forearms. On top of that, it's rocking a laser pointer, a flashlight, and HD video recording. I'm also looking forward to the next version of the glove, which fetches coffee and donuts. So President Obama was out of the country recently when the Patriot Act was up for renewal. So he did the most obvious thing and allowed a robot to sign it for him. There was a Supreme Court finding that said, you know, in his stead, the president may approve someone else to sign the bill for him, but now it's a robot. This has opened up a little bit of a can of worms. There's now some legal gray area around what constitutes a legal signature, but I'm more interested in the logical conclusion that comes out of all this, which is that our next president obviously will be a robot. Oh, well, who are you gonna vote for? I'm gonna go with Asimo in 2012. Asimo, he's really helpful. If you live in California, a computer error ended with the release of 450 violent felons by accident. So this software was designed to help identify good candidates for early release. Nonviolent. Unfortunately, the software was programmed only to use information about those individuals' arrests and not anything about their convictions or anything about any of their behavior during their time in prison. Yikes. So a number of actually violent felons were unfortunately released. I can't decide what's worse, the fact that these 450 violent criminals have been released parole free, or the fact that law enforcement officials are not tracking down these people and say that they can only be returned if they're caught committing another crime. Not good. You've heard the phrase, there's an app for that. Well, now there's an app for everyone. And we do mean that literally because the new kick to pick app is for your unborn child to choose a name for themselves from the womb. So the point of this is you hold it up to your belly once you pick out your list of names to your baby bump and it scrolls through the list of names one by one and it, the accelerometers in the iPhone can detect when your baby gets so excited about a name that it just kicks right there. It's got thousands of names available for you to scroll through, but if you're not a super weird rich celebrity who doesn't who wants to name their baby Walnuts Astoria, some of them are a little odd. Yeah. You can actually filter out or choose your own list of babies. Names. What's next? I'm gonna go ahead and say fetus book is next where your your unborn baby can start a Facebook like page 
Well, that's all the time we have left for Tech Life on Tekka TV. Be sure to check out all of our content on Tekka.com. We will be covering E3 next week, so what? lots of video game news on Tekka.com next week. On behalf of everybody here at Tekka, I'm Ashley Eskeva. I'm Barb Dibwad. And that's been Tech Life, your digital lifestyle in five minutes or less.